As you probably know, sound can't travel through the vacuum of space. However, there is a process to turn scientific data into audio called sonification. While this may not have huge scientific implications, it does help us see space in a new way. Now, you may think this is weird, but I want you to close your eyes and listen carefully. I'll tell you when you can open them again. closed. This beautiful piece of music is not randomly generated, not composed per se, but is the sonification of an image of the center of the galaxy, a 400 light year region of space around the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A star. Now listen again and I'll give you a context to what you are listening to. The translation of the image goes from left to right. Each ding you hear is a star differing each time depending on that star's brightness and size in the image. The gas and dust structures found near our galaxy center fill the image, producing much longer droning sounds. Now, imagine you were blind from birth. What you are listening to now may have just been your first experience of what space could look like. Truly, you can get a slight appreciation from just this of the vastness of space and how fully it is occupied by celestial bodies in just 400 light years across. Now open your eyes. Is this image how you imagined it looking? Shut your eyes again throughout the rest of this video. This particular image is a composite image of various wavelengths of light, taken with a number of different telescopes. Telescopes are instruments that are designed to pick up different wavelengths of light, and adding them together in this case creates the full image. Just like how the combination of different instruments playing their own lines in an orchestra creates a beautiful musical composition. When we separate the lines of the piece, or in other words, separate the wavelengths of light, we hear the image differently. If we focus on the Chandra X-ray telescope's view of the same region, the image sounds a lot emptier. The main focus of this line of music is the superheated gas surrounding the supermassive black hole found in the center of our galaxy. It's the noisiest source here, building up into a crescendo as we pass over it. The Spitzer Telescope's music of the infrared showcases not only more stars, but the hum of cooler, complex dust structures that are also much more apparent here. Thank you. 
and lastly, the music of visible light through the Hubble Space Telescope. The droning sound here is from the particularly dense regions of dust and gas structures, where star formation is actively taking place. Put them all together, and we have our composite image again, and our full orchestral piece. This process can be done with many different images of space. Do you know of the supernova remnant Cassiopeia A? Well, whether you know it or not, Try and guess its structure from just listening to the sonification of its image, this time from the center of the image outwards. There's no ding sounds this time, as there are no stars in this image, just the ups and downs in intensity of the nebula structure. And what about this? The pillars of creation from left to right. There are the occasional stars here, and the location and intensity of the nebula structure can sort of be imagined. So there we have it, space in sound form, and maybe an insight too as to how you could experience space if you were blind. Were you good, and you only opened your eyes when you were supposed to? I suggest now watching over this video one more time with your eyes open, to visualize and give context to what you were hearing. It may surprise you. And with that, thanks for watching. This video is a little different from my other videos, but I was really impressed with this process of sonification from the Chandra team at Harvard. Do let me know if you want something similar to this in the future. If you want more space related videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you can, supporting me as a YouTube member or through Patreon would really help too and a big thanks to those of you that do. So, all the best, and see you next time.